Hello and welcome to Advent Talk number three. As this, this one is called Outside In. I remember we started with the long run up and that was followed by it's all a bit of a mess <laughs> and now we're into Outside In. So last Sunday at number 49, a storm lit the third candle in our Advent ring and it was the pink one. And contrary to popular belief, it wasn't pink because I'd run out of purple candles, but it's pink because traditionally that is the color of the third candle on the Advent ring. And that's because pink apparently um, stands for joy. So we've had the prophets, we've had love, and now we're into joy. And this candle particularly focuses on the shepherds. And I can see why the theme for this candle might be joy, because shepherds in those days were the kind of folk that weren't even allowed to testify in a court of law because nobody trusted their word. So I guess if we take a moment to reflect, we might think who that might be in our society today. Probably not shepherds, but there could be other groups of people we think, oh yeah, no, you'd never ask them to testify in a court of law because no one would actually believe what they were saying. And yet, they're the first people that God invites to go and see the baby Jesus in the stable, in the manger. And I'm not surprised that once they had seen that baby that they went everywhere telling everyone the good news because they must have been so chuffed that they were the ones that had been chosen to bring that message, told by the angels to bring that message. And then the Bible says that they went home singing. And I love that, that kind of burst of joy that makes us want to sing. And there's a lot of songs in the Christmas story so let's think about those songs there. Oh yes, one of my favourites. When Mary, newly pregnant, three months pregnant, got past the danger zone and goes to visit her cousin Elizabeth, who's about six months pregnant, with John the Baptist. And as she walks into her house, the baby in Elizabeth's womb, who's going to be John the Baptist, leaps and dances for joy. That's the first joyful song. And... Elizabeth has a joyful song too. Um, she can't believe that Mary's been to visit her. Mary has a joyful song after the angel has been to visit her to tell her she's going to be um, carrying the Son of God. And her song is very revolutionary. It really fits with the news that we've had this year about everyone being included, that those on the outside should be included in, a bit like the shepherds in our story that we're particularly remembering today. And then Elizabeth's husband, Zechariah, sings a joyful song when his baby son is born, having been silent for nine months. And then after eight days, Mary and Joseph take the baby Jesus to the temple to be consecrated. And Simeon and Anna sing joyful songs. So there's lots of joyful songs in the Christmas story. And joy and joyful has been our theme in Storm for this term and is going to carry on being our theme for the whole of 2021. And it's a great theme to be having. And for us in Storm, particularly the, the Bible verse we've been teaching the children at Storm Club sums up kind of where we are as a charity and as a community group and a church which talks about us coming home. And we feel like number 49 is certainly our home for the next couple of years and it talks about the people coming home joyful and glad in heart and that's certainly how we've been feeling even in this difficult season that we find ourselves in but today we're really focusing on the fact that the kingdom that Jesus brings in through his birth that we remember at Christmas time is an upside down kingdom that all of those on the outside are invited in and just to finish with one very short little story that I read, um, it's a story about a little boy with special needs. He's with his dad, who's a guy called Krish Kandia, and they're going through London. They end up in one of those little tunnels in the underground, and suddenly his son runs off because there's a homeless man asleep in that underground tunnel, and the boy, who doesn't normally 
embrace touching or want to be touched, reaches out and touches the homeless man who wakes up. And there's a moment where those two unlikely worlds connect and a smile passes between them and then it's kind of over. And I guess the Christmas story is about worlds connecting. It's about all of those who feel like they're maybe on the edges, maybe on the outside, like the shepherds, being invited in to join the party and join in the fun and the joy that Christmas talks about. So may God bless you. The next time I speak to you will be after the big day. So I'm really praying God's blessing on you and your family during this time. Thank you.